welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be doing my February favorites video and I'm super excited to do this video because I feel like February was just so good to me this year. Normally I'm like a Debbie Downer for some reason like about January and February those like the first two months of the year have always just been kind of rough for me but this year has, is like honestly going so unbelievably well. I'm so excited about life. So that's pretty exciting. I am super excited though that February is over because that just means one more month between me and my birthday. I actually have 52 days until I turn 21. Guys this is crazy. Time has flown by way too fast. But of course these next 52 days are going to last for like a decade. So I'm going to switch it up basically and I'm going to do my random favorites first and then my beauty favorites. So let's go ahead and hop in. So my first favorite of the month was the fact that I was in Florida for the first week of February. I was at Disney World with some family and it was really cool to go back there and be with my family and ride all the rides and see all the Disney princesses and everything, you know, just about Disney. It was really cool seeing that and going through all the parks and stuff. So that was a lot of fun. Um, if I had to choose a favorite ride, let me think. My favorite ride at Magic Kingdom would probably have to be the Seven Dwarfs ride. And then my favorite ride at Epcot was definitely the Fast Track or the Speed Test thing. I can't remember exactly what it's called. And then my favorite ride at Animal Kingdom was the dinosaur one where they take you like back in time um and you are going to like save some dinosaur i forget the name of it yeah those are like my three favorite rides from the three parks that we went to um and then i also went to universal and we went to island of adventure and the harry potter ride oh my gosh like oh that was the coolest thing ever. I absolutely highly recommend everybody goes to Islands of Adventure at Universal Studios. That thing was the coolest. Oh, that ride was incredible. So I obviously enjoyed Florida earlier this month. And then another big favorite of mine was the Hosier concert I went to. I actually went with my dad. And he, I think that was like the best part was that he loved it so much. He really loved his performance. It was in a nice like small little space. And um, it was like kind of, it was like more personal than most concerts that I've been to. So it was really nice. And Hosier oh my god his voice is heavenly he sounded so incredible his album I really wish people would listen to like his entire album because I know he's known for take me to church which is a beautiful song but the entire album is honestly incredible so I highly recommend that you guys check it out if you guys haven't already my third favorite is a book favorite and it's actually kind of two books so the first one is after we fell by Anna Todd I finished that one earlier and I was honestly dragging it out trying to like make it last until the fourth one came out but I accidentally finished like a couple days earlier than expected because I just couldn't resist reading it and then the other favorite of course is the fourth book which is after ever happy which I'm sure most of the world knows about but I am seriously obsessed with the series I love it so much and I'm trying to take my time reading the fourth book because I'm so sad like I don't want it to end like I don't know what I'm gonna do with my life afterwards just kidding yes I do which leads me to my fourth favorite can I count I can't remember. Um, but basically, I'm going to take a second to shamelessly plug my Tumblr page because I am obsessed with Tumblr. I have been for a very long time, and I'm also really in love with Vine, and I'm also kind of obsessed with Harry Styles. So yeah, my Tumblr and my Vine is basically just covered in like Harry Styles and One Direction posts. Well, Vine is like 100% One Direction. Tumblr, it's like a little bit of everything because my dashboard, you know, you never know what you're going to get on there, but I mainly cruise through the Harry Styles tag on Tumblr and I'm not even ashamed of it. I love One Direction and I love their music, which is also one of my favorites from the month. Um, so yeah. But as always, I have Spotify linked down below so you guys can check out my playlist for the month of February. There's a lot of One Direction in there. I have been obsessed with the Midnight Memories album. I've been listening to so many songs on there. Um, I just, I can't. I can't stop. So I love each and every one of you, and I hope that you guys don't judge me on liking One Direction. I know there's a lot of One Direction fans out there, and I love so much talking to you guys about the boys down in the comments. So if you guys have anything to say or share the same opinion, or you don't, I really don't mind debating or talking in general. Um, just leave me a comment down below. But yeah, it just kind of frustrates me sometimes when people make comments about others having bad music taste because just because we don't share the same interest in music doesn't mean that my music taste is bad or that your music taste is bad. Like, I don't really care for Metallica or Pink Floyd, but just because somebody likes them doesn't mean that they have bad music taste. You guys get what I'm saying? Hopefully that's making sense. Um, but yeah, a little rant there. That's done though, so let's move on. So my next 
favorite is my shirt, which says I'm all about that base, which is from Gossip Girl, Chuck Bass, like, yes. Thumbs up this video if you are a Chuck Bass and Blair Waldorf fan because they are my OTP. All right, so now that we got all of that out of the way, let's go ahead and move on to physical favorites. The first one being my selfie stick. So I actually bought this back in Florida. We were, um, I think we were at Magic Kingdom and I saw them like literally everywhere. Everybody had them and I was like, what is that? And it's a selfie stick. So it's honestly the coolest invention ever. I really wish I had invented it like and thought of it. Like I sit there sometimes and I'm like, how did I not think of this? I could be making millions. Um, but basically you just take your cell phone and then it just clasps, oh goodness, clasps into there and then you can extend it out so that way you can take, oh wow, I'm all white, so that you can take a selfie from like afar, you know, from like all the way back there. And what's really cool about it, obviously, because you're not going to be able to like hit the or get the button from all the way back there, it comes with a Bluetooth remote that you can attach, like, well not attach, but you know, connect to your phone and then you just press the button and it takes a photo for you. Like, is that not the most convenient thing ever? Like, I took this thing with me everywhere and I still do. I think my friends are kind of embarrassed about it, but oh well. They'll thank me when they have an awesome selfie later. So now for my beauty favorites, the first one is for my hair, which you might recognize a couple of these products because I actually just recently hauled some of them. This one being one of them. This is the Macadamia Natural Oil Deep Repair Mask. This thing is thebomb.com. My hair is super dry because of the winter and because I used to be a blonde, so lots of processing and lots of bleach in my past, so hence dry hair, which means I need a super expensive, super thick, super amazingly smelling conditioner. So yeah, that's what this looks like. It's just a super thick conditioner. I use it in my ends and I let it sit there in the shower and then I will do whatever I need to do and rinse it out and my hair will be magically softer and smell delicious. Next I have a couple nail polishes. The first one is from OPI. This is like my all-time favorite pink nail polish. This one is called Mod About You. This is what it looks like up close. It is literally just the prettiest pink color. Super gorgeous for spring and summer. Like, oh my gosh, guys, I'm obsessed. And then the next color is actually what I have on my nails. I've been wearing these two this month. And this one is from Maybelline. This is the, what is this? The Color Show line in Lust for Lilac number 165. And like I said, this is the one that I have on my nails. It's so stinking pretty. I love it. Again, it is so pretty for spring and summer, but I figured, you know, maybe if I paint my nails with the inspiration of spring, maybe I will get the good weather to come my way because it's freezing outside and I don't want to leave my bed. The next I have a couple face products. The first one is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish Natural. This is in light. It's basically just a like face powder. I've had this for a while. It's one of the first MAC products that I ever purchased and since finishing one of my other face powders I thought I would go ahead and pick this up and see if I can finish it off and this month I've really been liking it. It's a really nice just nice kind of like matte finish to your face but it doesn't look cakey or gross it's not heavy and it stays put all day so I really do love this powder and I'm glad to be using that again and then the other face product is the NYX HD blush in taupe this is another one of those products that I hauled here recently this is what it looks like it is you know just a really nice cool toned ashy like gray color and what I use this for is contouring I do not use it as a blush do not worry <laughs> but I do use it to contour my cheekbones and my face it's awesome because it's just a natural like cool toned ashy color so it kind of creates just that natural shadow where you want to chisel out your face it doesn't look like a streak of like dark bronze or just looks like you have a naturally chiseled jawline or cheekbone or you know whatever the case may be so this stuff is awesome and I think you can find it on their website I've had I've not had much luck finding them in stores yet but the taupe blush is definitely one to have for your collection so next I have a couple brow products the first is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow Wiz. this is in soft brown I use this to outline my brows and then I will fill in like the tail end of it and then I will use my next favorite which is also from Anastasia this is the brow powder duo in soft brown as well so this comes with two shades as you guys can see and what I do is I will take the darker shade and fill that in with um, or I will fill the outer part of my brow in and then I will take the lighter shade and just kind of fade out the front a little bit I have been obsessed with my brows like just trying to get them right and they have looked so heavy and so bad and just like thick recently I finally picked these guys up and I honestly am so excited like I used to be kind of embarrassed when I went out of the house because of my brows but now I'm good 
So next I have the Milani, this is from their Bella Eyes eyeshadow collection number 7 in Bella White. And it's just a really nice stark white color. Um, it's really hard to find a white that will actually highlight like my brow bone or my inner corner on my eyes because I am so fair skinned. Everything just kind of blends away or blends into my skin but this one actually highlights. So really nice and super inexpensive. So I use that bad boy like every single day. And then my last beauty favorite is a palette. This is the Tartlet palette and you can get this at Ulta I believe and it just comes with all matte shadows. Hopefully you guys can see that okay. Um, but I have been obsessed with all of these neutrals. They are so perfect for everyday wear. I use Wanderer, Force of Nature, Dreamer Everyday, Natural Beauty. Let me see if I can get you guys a close-up. So yeah, it just comes with a beautiful range of neutrals. They're all matte shadows and tart shadows, if you guys haven't used them before, are super pigmented and they blend really well on the eyes. So I have been obsessed with this bad boy. Alright, so that's actually it for all of my favorites for the month of February. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys all had a wonderful February and a wonderful Valentine's Day and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye!